Hey, Denise, how you doing? Good, how you doing? Good, man. Um, some of the people on the beat covered you during the recruiting process and talked to you, um, but some of us didn't. I'm one of them. Uh, could you just talk, talk to us a little bit about your recruiting process and how you end up picking Florida State? Uh, it was a good recruiting process. Uh, I picked Florida State because it was like been there through the whole thing. They didn't back out of nothing. They show love. They show to my family. They show love when I came down to games, and I just felt like home when I came down. Peter? Coming from North Carolina, I'm sure you saw a lot of ACC games. Um, did you ever thought that in mind that that, that was going to be like the goal for you now and just play D1 for play in ACC country? Uh, yeah, I know I always had like potential to play in college, but ACC, um, not really. But yeah, it was good though. Liam? You know, talk to me about this defensive front. There's been a lot made about it with the edges, the D-line, and, you know, the past successes. You know, when you look at that, one, how do you envision your role, you know, just learning this defense, and what do you expect out of these guys? Uh, expect out of them, like, teaching me, like, the way I run, like, especially Josh and Daryl, um, Daniel and KJ, they all teach me, like, help me, push me, and help me learn the plays and stuff, so. Kirk? How, how important was uh, Odell Hagan's your relationship with, with Odell during the recruiting process? I guess what, what stood out about him? Uh, he stayed real through the whole thing. He showed love. He came and visited a few times. We kept in contact. We talked like a few times every week, so it was real big. Got one on Zoom here from Chris. Hey, Debo, wondering what your weight's at these days and what's kind of your goal for year one as far as reshaping and getting stronger and getting more prepared for college physically? Uh, my weight right now is around 335. My end goal is like 220, 250, 320, 315. So, yeah, so I can play faster than everything. Adlon and Beck. What's kind of your mindset after going through a, a recruiting process and, and maybe not being uh, as heralded as some other guys, but obviously having a lot of confidence in yourself, just what's kind of your, your immediate goals in terms of uh, doing what you can to get on the field and help the program? Uh, give my best in practice and in the meetings and run the plays and show that the coaches can trust me. And, uh, yeah. Kurt, up front. Having two two older guys who've played a good amount of college football and, and Daryl and, and Josh to learn from, I guess, what do you what do you hope to take from them getting a, a year learning under them this year? Uh, how to play fast and physical, and how to play aggressive, and just like like yeah, play fast and physical. Anything else? So have you uh, always played D-line? Have you played any other positions when you were younger coming up in football? Uh, when I was younger, I played running back sometimes. Middle school, I played running back, outside linebacker, safety, uh, wide receiver. And then my last year of middle school, I played quarterback. So, yeah. Iron. So your body looked different when you were playing receiver and, and running back. Yeah. When, when did when did you when did you start getting bigger? When did you start putting on size to play in the line? Uh, COVID year, okay. I wasn't really like working out or nothing, so I got bigger and just been sitting in the house, and I got bigger and just turned to a D lineman. <laughs> everybody told me when I get high school I'm gonna be a D lineman, so yeah. but it paid off. All right, Peter. Um, Denise, what do you see yourself um, playing as far as? Um, the D tackle, are you more like a nose or gonna be like three tech or a little bit interchangeable? Uh, I could play both. I mean, I've played both in um, high school, so I'm really used to it being like, you know, um, both positions of the defense. So yeah. All right, anything else? Okay, thank you. Thanks, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.